Oh, what's going on, RZ here? Welcome back to some more Satisfactory. Today, well, you know what this game is about. It's about factory building. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna work on building the factory. Hopefully you're all having fun for that. I'm having a fantastic day. But the goals today, um, we have a couple goals. We need to get some, uh, we need to get some expansion going. We need to get some new items, some new resources, some things that are just gonna help our lives. So we need to get into part assembly so we can get the assembler. And then we need to get Logistics Mark II. And actually, I think we're gonna go Logistics Mark II first and then part assembly. And the reason for that is because if I can get the conveyor belt Mark II's going, I can use the one singular miner that I have, hook that up and get uh, get things going a little bit faster with that and just get things a little bit more efficient. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the plan. Hopefully you're all having a wonderful day. I'm having a fantastic day. So uh, yeah, the plan, like I said, if we can get the new belts that give us 120 items per minute, that will help this. Cause this guy is capable of putting out 120 uh, per minute anyways. So if we upgrade this belt and this belt, we could then get, um, cause we have, basically we have 60 per minute going right now. So that's like a belt capacity here. So we could add another two smelters. And then these guys are producing 30 ingots per minute. And with 30 ingots per minute, we could get um, a bunch uh, we could get a bunch more constructors going here as well. Well, for the most part, I mean, with plates and iron and rods and stuff like that, but we also need to get screws going. We need to get the reinforced plates going. We got a whole bunch of things that we gotta get going. So um, yeah, that's why we want those. So that's what we're gonna focus on first. And then obviously we're gonna be building out the factory a little bit more, trying to make it look a little bit nicer. You know, it's funny. There looked like there was a lot of room here, but there really, there really isn't. <laughs> so, we're definitely gonna be leaning into the verticality for sure. Um, we might have to expand out this way over here with the uh, the iron stuff a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to use the areas as efficiently as I can. I say that, and then I have like a whole foundation wide conveyor belt here. But anyways, let's get into it. Hopefully, y'all have a wonderful day. I'm having an absolutely fantastic day. So let's see what we need for conveyor belt mark twos. I am gonna have to hand make some stuff here, but we're gonna go ahead and select this milestone. And I'm going to drop off those resources. So we are good on concrete. I need rods, plates, and reinforced plates. All right. So we are making those. Um, I'm going to go ahead and focus on the reinforced plates, I think. So we have rods. And we have some plates. So I'm going to go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to focus on making the uh, the 50 reinforced plates first. And we'll let the machines work on the other stuff. Yeah, it'll be. Uh, oh, it's because I need screws. Okay, perfect. All right, so we're actually not even we're not even close to what we need. And I just realized too, I think the mark if I'm not mistaken, I think Mark II plates actually take the reinforced plate. Um, unless that's Mark III, but I'm almost positive Mark II takes the reinforced plate, which even if I get that, that means I'm gonna have to make a whole bunch of these Mark II plates. Um, so this isn't really gonna be a great way to go about this. So what I'm gonna do is uh, while this is making this, I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna expand this out just because, I mean, yeah, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and expand that out, get it all ready, and let the machines do the work for now. So I'm gonna grab some concrete, we're gonna grab some plates, we're gonna expand our foundations, and continue building. Okay, so... We got, uh, we got some more room to work here. So let's go ahead and let's get these going. Let's just get some, oh my gosh, wires and everything. Oh, I need it all. I need to get wire going, we gotta get all the copper stuff going, we gotta get all of the different things going here. So also, yeah, I didn't realize that these burners were here. <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking that uh, we had to upgrade this again. So yeah, there's we have two biomass burners right right here, right here, just conveniently located right here. So I can get these two going if needed, but yeah, you know what, we're good with those. So yeah. All right, you know what? We're gonna get copper going because that needing that wire made me realize that, hey, we have no copper stuff being made whatsoever. And instead of making iron stuff, we should probably focus a little bit on copper here. So the copper items that we can make, let's go ahead and make a, not a smelter, we're gonna need a constructor. So let's just throw a constructor down. We can make uh, wire and cable. So wire is obviously just uh, copper ingots and the cable is copper wire and cable. So we're gonna need three of these bad boys. So what I wanna do is I wanna go ahead and get a constructor. Let's bring one there. And bring one there. And that's gonna make our cable. And can I make any more of these? No, I'm out of concrete, okay. Um, that's gonna make our cable, and then we're gonna go ahead and make a uh, wire right next to that, and then we'll get our cable and wire going, so that way those are going. <gasps> Lizard doggo! 
friend. Friend. No. Come back, friend. <laughs> oh, lizard doggos are so fun. Um, I don't think I have any berries on me. I don't. I have no berries. I'm sorry, lizard doggo. I have no berries for you. Okay, so we're going to need a conveyor splitter back here for this guy because we're going to be bringing ingots in. So we're going to get that guy placed in. We're going to go and conveyor belt mark one. We want build mode uh, straight. Heck yes. Oh my gosh. I love this. So let's go here and then we'll go here. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love that. It's like the greatest thing ever. <laughs> it's so good. All right. So there's our wire. And then from here to here, and then here we want cable, fantastic. And then we're gonna need one of these guys. Go ahead and flip that around. And is that lined up? Are you lined up to that? Perfect, okay. So there's that, obviously we have to hook up power still and all that fun stuff. Um, let's see here. Okay, I have enough for a few platforms here. I should only need, um, oh my gosh. We're so close. Actually, you know what? We we might be good. Oh, I need more cable. Okay. Let me go ahead and get a power pull up right here. Uh, we're going to place it right here. Let's go ahead and get that attached there. Get these guys going. All right. So there's our constructor. Let's go ahead and get that on here. And then we'll go ahead and grab ourselves another splitter. We're going to throw another splitter here just in case. Um, we're probably going to need to split off for something in the future. Grab that. Go there. Grab this. Go what the heck? I thought that was lined up. What happened? What happened? Okay. Let's try that again. There to there. Uh, now it's lined up. I must have moved it very last second. <laughs> All right. And then this is going to make wire. Okay. Perfect. And then we're going to throw a container on this one as well. And we're good. Okay, cool. So, oh, and then we got to wire it. Hold on. And throw that on there. Perfect. Max connections. So we have wire going. We have cable going. That is good. We need, I, I really need to get more of, um, I need to get more plates and more rods going here. So we're going to do that real quick. We're going to make a whole nother machine because we have the capability to have a whole nother machine anyways of each. And these are our most used items. So, all right. So we need a another constructor. <laughs> oh, I'm going to need more foundations. There we go. Okay. Another constructor. Wait. Um, let's see. Do I have it? Yeah. You know what? It's fine. All right, and then grab this guy. Uh, that should be lined up. And grab you to there. And then you to there. Okay, so basically, obviously, just doing the same thing that we did last time. And then we're gonna do uh, rods over there. Just, we need, we need so much more. All right, let's try our, uh, let's get a conveyor merger in here. So this is the first time like I'm throwing a merger on on this guy. So we'll put one there. And then I also want one right here. Is there a way to like line that up? Oh yes. Oh my gosh, it actually lined up to that one. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. All right, and then we're gonna place that into there like that. And this guy into here like that. And then we need to get these powered. So that might be a trick here. Yeah, all of these power poles are kind of full. And I'm missing, <laughs> I need wire, but luckily we have it automated now. Let's go check out our little, uh, our little wire situation here. Oh, look at that 88 already. Oh, what are we going to do with all this new found wire? All right, so we're going to put a power pole here and I'm going to put another power pole here. And then we're going to do a little bit of reconnecting here. So we're going to go from here to there, there to there, and there to there. Okay. And then this one to there. And then I guess, ugh, I need to have another, what the heck? All 
I need another power pole like right here. We got to get the power pole upgrade too. My gosh. These power poles only having four things on them is terrible. Okay. So that's good. Now our belts should be able to handle that. Because that is 60 items. Well, actually it's a little bit more than 60. It's what? 15, 30, 40, 70. It's 70 items per minute. Oh God. We blew a fuse. <laughs> I bet. <laughs> All right, you know what? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe we should hook into these two burners right here. Um, we may have hit the uh, <laughs> the threshold of the of the ones we have. Uh, yeah, let's go to there. Okay. I'm gonna go grab some solid biofuel and throw those in there. <laughs> All right, there we go. Boom, power looks good. Now, wait, why does it say capacity is still only 60? Oh, right here. Uh, now we're at 100, okay, cool. Much, much better. Now, I believe our concrete can also be expanded as well, if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, what are we What are we pulling in here? We need, oh, 45 per minute. No, we can't quite double that. I'd like to double that, but we can't really double that, unfortunately. How is this looking? Okay, that was just pick, those are picking up a little bit. That's nice. Okay. So we've got copper, we've got that. We don't have um, screws and stuff like that being made yet, but we're gonna get there. So since those biomass burners uh, were needed, I think we're gonna go ahead and expand our power a little bit just because we're gonna need it anyways we're not we're not super close to getting um we're not super close to getting to uh like coal or anything like that yet so i don't think there's any reason to even worry about that so let's just go ahead and set these down here these are floating i know it's fine it is what it is um i wish that they weren't but they are <laughs> so we got three more burners here and we're gonna go ahead and get those hooked up. Um, let's see here. You to there. And then we gotta get the, these things all powered up as well. You know, I kinda wish we could daisy chain these. Like, I wish there was two um, power spots so we could like attach this one to here and then attach this one to here and then this one, you know what I mean? So on and so forth, but there's only one. So it really just doesn't allow that to happen. Uh, but like, you know what I mean? Cause then we could go from here to here, here to here, here to here, so on and so forth. Kind of like in one's human, I do. And then we could have here to one power pole instead of like this, you know, sh old shenanigans. Uh, okay, so what did I need for this? I'm out of uh, copper wire again. Hey, it's our factory inspector man. Hello, factory inspector man. All right, let's grab the wire. And you know what? I'm gonna grab the cable too while I'm here. Might as well. We're gonna need it. And then let's go ahead and grab our concrete. How come this isn't going? Are you going the wrong way? Why are you not belting that way? That's weird. I don't know. Uh, we're going to figure that out. Oh my gosh, I don't even have enough for, I don't have enough for another one of these guys right now. Oh, okay, let's see, let's get you to here. And then who do we need to disconnect here? We'll disconnect that and then connect this to there, then this to there, and then this to this one, and then this to this one maybe? Okay, what is going on with this belt? It's gotta be this guy. Something is not going right, right there. Ah. Okay, let's take that off. Grab this. Let's do that. Let's get rid of this guy. Let's, let's redo these. Of course, that's not in the right spot. Should be in the right spot. It looks like it's in the right spot. Okay. Try this again. Are we good now? Yes. Okay, now we're good. I was like, what is going on here? 
All right, so that should feed those. Now, these take, what, four per minute? And this produces 120 per minute if it's being, or no, it produces 60 per minute if it's being fully fed, which I think it is. So, wait, no, 120 per minute, the bell. No, the belts can only handle 60 per minute. So no, this is not gonna, this is not gonna hold, a, well, so it's half of that, so it's 30 per minute. So four, eight, 60, oh yeah, we got, we got plenty, it's fine, okay. And as long as these keep going, yeah, that still has stuff in it. That's, yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, so our power is good. Very good, all right. Let's get our logistics mark too. Let's get that, let's focus on that. Let's make that happen. Uh, yeah, let's, let's focus on that. Let me go ahead and get everything I need to make the 50 uh, the reinforced plates and then we'll just wait on the rest of the stuff. All right, so there's our 50 plates. So I just need rods. Uh, oh no, we just need, um, oh, we just need plates. Actually, do I have? I have a little, wait, you know what, let me just go ahead and make some. <laughs> might as well, uh, might as well go ahead and make some by hand too, if we can. Oh, we're so close. We're like, what, 29 away? Oh, come on. All right, there it is, 29. Okay, perfect. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I am absolutely thrilled. So, wait, hold on, no, we're going in here. Uh, this is gonna go in here. Boom, we're done. Mark two, let's go, okay. Now, do they require the uh, the plates? Yes, they do. I knew it. Okay. I knew it. So that's gonna help. Okay. All right. Awesome. Does not count towards work hours and will put you on the list. Recreational use of belts and lifts. All right. So I'm gonna have to make a bunch of reinforced plates here um, because we need to get we need to get a few belts. Not a lot of belts. Not. There's only a couple that. Basically the iron if we get the iron belt upgraded to mark two uh, We get more smelters going we get more production going we can get more plates and more rods going as well um, As long and also we can start making screws and all the other stuff as well. So um, yeah, that's what we need to do and then I Wonder if this can be upgraded. Let's see what the, what's the output on our limestone. Oh This is only a 60 per minute node anyways so that's not great, unfortunately. Is there another limestone deposit nearby? We're just, we go through concrete so fast. Oh, oh, there's one. Oh my gosh. Our prayers have been answered. Oh, it's a pure. Ooh, uh-oh. Huzzah. Huzzah. I missed. Huzzah, oh no. Huzzah, <laughs> this isn't fair. Two against one, it's not fair. Nope, don't do it. Stop it. Bad. Bad little armored doggy. Quit it. I got you. I got you. Ha ha ha. Oh, I thought I got you both. All right, come on. Come on. Do it. Do it. Make your move. Ha ha. Come on. Come on. Get over here. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Can't even handle this. All right. So, yeah, we have another node right there. Which is pure, which means it should give us 120 per minute um, off the rip, which is, oh, that's going to be nice. Okay. So let's start off with getting our iron upgraded and getting more plates. We need more plates and more, um, we need more plates being brought in. I don't need more rods. I need more plates more than anything. All right. So now that we got some plates, let's see if we can go and upgrade our belt to something a little bit faster, a little bit more amazing, if you will. Um, oh, you know what? I'm going to need... Well, actually, we have to open this up. We have to compare about Mark II. Uh, how many does that take? That takes 17. Okay, that's a win. And then we need this. Um, and then I need this one. Okay, perfect. So now we are cruising. So now we can actually go ahead and get some more smelters going, which if I'm not mistaken, we can actually get uh, two more smelters going, right? Yes, two more smelters, which means that we can then get probably four-ish, maybe five or four, maybe three. More constructors going on some basic iron stuff, which is fantastic. So let's see, let's go, I guess let's go ahead and start with these because these are like the, the easiest. Um, let's see, let's get this in here. Let's line you up and let's get you as close as possible. Let's get another one in here. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And then let's get another one of these. And we want to go uh, something like this, right? Yes. And then this one, maybe, maybe, quite possibly, okay. And then we're gonna want these belts. I'm hoping that I have enough. 
Oh no, I don't have enough. <laughs> uh, you know what? Actually, that's fine. Because this is the last belt anyways. I don't think it's going to matter. Um, okay, so we'll do that. And then we'll do this. And we'll do that. Then these are going to make iron because it's amazing. Iron and iron. And there they go. They're not powered, so they're not actually going to do anything. But we can say there we go because we did a thing. Okay. Now, uh, are we going to be producing? Wait, hold on. How much are we producing here? 30 per minute, 30 per minute. Oh, dear. Uh, we're going to need an upgrade on our um, on our systems as well. So that is a thing. Ew. But you know what? Let's For now. For now. Let's just get them hooked up like this. And like that because this isn't gonna matter and we can go from here to <gasps> oh it's got an invalid shape okay hold on let's get, let's get uh nope this that and this and then this here but we're gonna have the input over there no that's incorrect that's wrong that's not gonna work the reason that's not gonna work is we, well yeah it'll work it'll be fine we'll figure it out we'll, we'll make it work All right, so we'll do that for now. But uh, basically what's gonna happen is we're gonna have more machines going this way, so we're just basically gonna have to expand this out this way, and that's fine, it's fine, it, everything's fine. Everything is just wonderful. But I need to go make some more reinforced plates, so I'm gonna need a few of these. We're gonna need some screws, we're gonna need some rods, and then I also need to get concrete. We need to get that other concrete thing going, because concrete is life. Okay, so I got some plates. We need to go ahead and get some upgrades. Now, I know what you got. I know what everybody's saying right now. It's like, Z, you're doing you're doing this wrong, all right? You don't know how to play the game. You're crazy. You're doing everything wrong. This looks terrible. What are you even doing? This isn't even a factor. You call that a factor? I know, okay? All right, so listen. I know I'm doing things wrong. <laughs> uh, but basically, what I'm doing right now is I'm focusing on getting resources. I'm getting focused on getting the resources that I need made so that I can AFK and let things build on their own. That way I can come back and then we can have a whole bunch of resources. And once we have a whole bunch of resources, we can come back and rebuild everything to our heart's desire in the most correct way possible that we can for the stuff that we have currently. But I need to at least get things going. So like I said, the AFK part is the most important part because this game is about factory building and it's about you waiting on stuff. And uh, for me to wait on stuff, I have to wait. So I need things to be built while I wait. So we've got the, if, does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. All right, so we've got all this. So now the next thing I need to automate, I want to automate screws and I want to automate um, reinforced plates. Now in order to automate reinforced plates because we don't have part assembly yet, we're going to have to get part assembly. So that's a whole nother thing in and of itself. Uh, but that should be fine because we should have the cables, rods. Uh, I would say we have the plates, but we don't have the plates because I've been using all the plates and we don't have the screws either because I've been using all the screws. So I need to get that going as well. But what we can do in the meantime is we can get screws going from rods and then we can get uh, we can get ready for that. We can get ready for the reinforced plate. And if we have time, we can hit that as well. So basically what I need to do is I need to get another thing set up for iron rods to produce iron rods. And then we need to produce screws as well. So I need uh, production. I need constructors and I need constructors and I don't have any more iron reinforced plates to make the constructors. Wonderful. All right. Well, let's just go ahead and do that. Um, I need what? One, two. One, two to make screws. And then if I want to make other plates, we need are going to we're going to need like another uh, plate maker. We're going to need a rod maker. We're going to need a, so one, two, three, four, five. We're going to need five, probably five. We're probably going to need five reinforced plates or five uh, machines. Okay, so for the shenanigans, let's go ahead and grab this. So let's just go ahead and start off. With, you know what? I'm just going to place them over here. Like I said, we're going to rebuild all this stuff anyway. So uh, let's get this guy right here. So that is going to do rods. And hold on. What is the rod to screw ratio here? So rods, that makes 15 per minute if we provide 15 per minute. And then I need screws, which needs 10 per minute to provide 40 per minute. Okay, so we're going to be a little over on that. So it's a two. So if we build two of these, we can build three screw makers. Um, that's actually not a terrible idea because I'm pretty sure screws are always going to be an issue for us in the future. So actually, if I increase the production of this, we should have enough on the biomass burners to cover the cost of everything. So actually, if I go like this, if we double up our rod production, then we can triple up. Um, we can essentially triple our 
screw production. So we could do one there. I'm gonna need more plates though. As a pro oh, yeah. Okay, so that's one. That's two. We're gonna need another one of those. Actually, yeah. No, that, this is looking good. Okay. So. How am I gonna do this in a way that's going to function and make everything? Okay, you know what? I know, I know how hard you do this. This is where I'm this. Okay, so if I go to logistics and we get a conveyor splitter, I could place that here if I had plates, but I don't have plates because I just used them all. So now I have, what is going on here? I have no plates. Oh, you know why? It's because I never reconnected anything. Like an idiot. Oh my gosh, I have nothing. <laughs> nothing is running. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, hold on. Let me let me get this all fixed. Wow, I royally messed that up. All right, hook that back up. Hook that back up. Okay, so are these all hooked up now. All right, everything's hooked up. Good to go. <laughs> oh, I messed that up. Okay, yeah. So we're gonna do uh, rods here. No, wrong. Rods and rods i hope i have enough for this that's 15 that's 30 that's another 30 per minute uh, we should be fine should be all right and then we're gonna go screws here and then screws here and then screws are also gonna go into this third one right here this imaginary third one just imagine it's there just visualize there's one here okay so screws are gonna go into there or rods are gonna go into there as well boom those are all gonna make screws and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the output of one of these screw makers right here uh we'll probably take i don't even know which one just one of these and then we'll use that to make our reinforced plates. Actually, we'll take two of the outputs because I don't need that many screws by themselves. I really just need the screws for the plates more than anything. Um, and then what we're gonna do from that is, ah, we'll see. Okay, now back to where we were. So the splitter, right? So we're gonna have it split from there to there. And then we're gonna have a, uh, Never mind. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work. It's not gonna work the way I planned it. Okay. All right. Um, that's a bummer. That is a slight inconvenience. So I guess instead we're gonna have to have a merger. Oh. Okay. So we're gonna have to have a merger, and then we're gonna have to have a splitter on top of the merger. Let me rethink this. I don't like this. Okay, I didn't like that. I didn't like how it looked. It was just it was just like it was confusing. Things weren't working. It's just not gonna work. You know what I mean? So we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna we're gonna continue the lineup that we have here, but this should work out fine because we can do plates here, we can do uh, rods and rods, and then we can do screws at the back end, and then we can use this plate machine to feed the um, the screws, and then that should make the, the plates. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> follow along. So let's grab a conveyor splitter and let's get these lined up. Okay, so there's our conveyor splitter. It's all happily lined up. So this can go here. We don't need Mark II belts uh, on the inputs because we're not, we don't, we're not gonna be pulling them that fast. We are gonna need Mark II belts, however, on the in-betweens, on the connecting them. So we will have to get that going as well, but that's fine, we'll get that figured out here just shortly. We need to get our uh, little area expanded as well. Um, I'm still just, plates honestly are like the worst right now for me. Okay, so we got some foundations here. So now, like I said, I need, so we're gonna have that one making plates. So I want one of, this guy's gonna be making rods. Let's see, let's get you lined up. Are you lined up? That looks lined up-ish, right? Right, okay, but we need to bring the two outputs together to send three outputs. So I need to make sure that I have room for everything here. So we're gonna need a merger. We're gonna need to merge these together first and then split them out. So actually, you know what? Let's just go ahead and so that should go into there and that should go into there. Okay, cool. And then the output of that. So we're gonna need a splitter now to go here. And then we're gonna need another splitter somewhere over here. Okay. And then again, this will probably have to be a faster belt. Well, maybe not. But this can be the first one right here. Yeah, that should work. Perfect. Okay, that that, yeah, that that should work. All right, we got enough. Do we have enough for two more of these? We should. One there and oh, hold on. Okay, one there and then one here. 
ho, ho, ho. I think we're on to something. And then I'm probably not gonna have enough. <laughs> we'll have enough plates here. So this is gonna get, basically this is gonna get um, screws going and then it should, once we get the assembly, uh, it should, what am I going? It should also get our reinforced plates going as well. So we shouldn't have to make those hopefully by hand anymore as well. Um, we do need to get everything hooked up and powered up, but we don't, like I said, we don't have the assembler yet. So um, that's fine, but let's go ahead and get these belted up. We're also gonna need, I need more tier two belts as well. And then actually we don't need anything for there. So we'll go from here to here, and then we'll go from here to there. And then this one to this one. And then these, like I said, are gonna be screws. Okay, cool. I think that's it. I think we got everything hooked up. Let's go ahead and let's put down an obscene amount of power poles because like we need power poles for literally everything here. Okay, let's see, three to four. Okay, so those are plugged in. Those are plugged in. Okay, we're good, I think. Oh, we're not completely good yet. We haven't got the inputs made. <laughs> I got the uh, I got these in, but we need to bring this guy all the way down around to here, and then we need to uh, we do need to get these upgraded as well. So I'm gonna have to go make some more plates. All right, we're gonna see how far we can go here. Uh, Mark two, can I, will it go all the way to here? <gasps> it did. Oh my gosh, it made it. Okay, and then we can go from there to there, and then from here. Nah, darn it. Okay, well, hey, you know what? We got something. <laughs> we started somewhere. Okay, so uh, you know what? Let's do this. Let's just get, just for the sake of connecting stuff, let's just get these connected. Never mind. I don't have any more plates. Wow. The plate struggle is so real right now. I'm hoping that we get this all fixed up here. And I think it's because of the speed of the belts. I don't think we've been supplying these last two machines um, fully. So let me grab these and let me just at least get these belts hooked up. Okay, there's that. All right, so these are all at least hooked up. Everything should be powered up and running. Uh, let's see, what's our power grid look like here? Oh yeah, we have a capacity of 190. We're way good. Uh, we don't have any outputs on any of these, like any storage things yet, but that's fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and get more of our, this is the wrong workbench. I'm gonna go ahead and get more of the reinforced place bane. All right, let's see how much we can get upgraded here. Oh, I'm excited. Okay, so we've already got this belt, that one's good. So there's that upgrade, there's that upgrade, there's that one, and that's the last one that we can do. Okay, so we need one more. We need literally like three more reinforced plates, and we sh oh, you know what? Also, these might need upgraded as well. Wait, hold on. Are these Mark II, Mark II, Mark II? Okay, these are all Mark II. We're good there. All right. So I just need three more plates, and we should be golden. I don't actually know how much raw iron we are consuming right now. <laughs> That's probably something I should figure out, huh? So like we have 120 being made and we've got 20, 40, 60 on um, plates alone. And then for rods, um, rods are 15 a minute, right? So we've got 15, 15, 15. Oh, we actually, we're consuming exact, we, wow. We are exactly 100% efficient because we are consuming 120 rods per minute. We're producing 120, or not 120 rods per minute. We're producing 120 ingots per minute. We're consuming 120 ingots per minute. And we are uh, making rods to screws at an equal efficiency as well. So mm, here I was not being a, not trying to be all efficient and stuff, but guess what? Oh, <laughs> we are efficient. I just realized, how come there's no iron coming out of these? <gasps> I never hooked them up to power. What am I doing? <laughs> oh my gosh, no wonder we're having issues. I can't even believe that. What have I done? I've kneecapped myself for so long. I was like, man, I was like, yeah, it's funny. These belts don't look as full as they should. I was like, okay, so we're producing iron. That's good. And I was like, no, we're not producing iron like we need to be. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I got to figure it out finally. Uh, it, oh my gosh. And you know what? My plates are on the very end. So like they were the ones that were suffering the most. Oh, look at that. It looks like a full belt full of iron that it's supposed to be. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, I have the last plate I need. 
let's go ahead and grab a mark two and upgrade and that's it we've got it okay everything should be functional everything should be working everything should be fine the only thing that i could probably need is i could probably use some storage containers uh, but i don't have any iron yet or any plates yet so we could we definitely need storage containers um we need storage containers for plates from this guy and screws from these three and then concrete from this because this is slowly starting to fill up i'd like to get concrete going over there as well but I think we are running, you know what? We need to get that concrete. We're gonna get concrete going over here as well. We need it, we need it so bad, especially if we're gonna start expanding our base. Do I have everything I need for that? I'm missing the plates, <laughs> stupid plates. <laughs> Iron plates are the bait of my existence right now. Okay, we have what we need for a drill. So we're gonna get the drill over here. and oh my gosh this is gonna be so nice um we're gonna need another constructor which i <laughs> uh that's gonna be a 120 per minute and this uses 45 so you know what we're just gonna hook up a regular i'm you know what i'm just gonna go set one of these over there real close to it and that's all i'm gonna do and just let it run into a storage unit and that's it because that's that's all i really need right now i just need everything set up so it can run while i'm away that way when the next episode happens why is everything why is why are we what are we doing here did i calculate how much we need here wrong or is there you know what everything's filling up that's what's going on i think it's taking everything for a minute to a minute to fill it all up so it's uh yeah okay oh you know what though i should have i should have some plates from this guy right yeah 74 plates <gasps> oh it's a magical moment all right let's grab a let's grab a constructor real fast so let's see i need i need two of these that's literally all i need i need that we need this and it's gonna i'm just i'm just gonna run this guy like right here i don't even care this from there to there that's fine you're gonna be making concrete let's not forget that let's not forget to power everything you you and then you are gonna go to we'll start on this power pole right here boom perfect okay so we got concrete being made there and i want a storage unit of concrete and i want to store i need a bunch of storage units so let's grab a storage container we need one for this guy We're gonna need one, um, probably, we're gonna need one like right here. I want one like, oh my God, this is gonna be a mess for a second. It's, you know what, I don't even care. It is what it is. That's gonna go there. And then we're gonna need a merger. So we'll go ahead and put that into there, that into there. You know what, screws? Output of screws, we might actually need a better belt for. How many do you output per minute? 40? Oh, yeah, this is going to have to be a Mark II if we want to keep up with that, but that's fine. All right, so there's that. You have plates, right? Yes, awesome. I need another one of you for this guy. And I need another one of you for that guy. Okay. Literally, everything is stored. Um, I'm missing plate. <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy. Oh, the plates, the plates, the plates, the plates. Okay. You know, here, that's fine. Let's move this closer, okay? Let's just set it closer. All right, so there's that. All right. You to there. Fantastic. And that is limestone, that's concrete. We have everything we need. Everything's set up uh, minus the belt that needs to be upgraded, probably. Probably needs to be upgraded. It does need to be upgraded. Otherwise, we're going to be um, slacking on. I'm going to need a lot more than two reinforced plates, though. So unfortunately, unfortunately, I do not have. We're not getting the assembler built right now, which is fine. Uh, we'll get that done later. Because I just don't have. 200, 200, 500, 300. I don't have any of that. Well, I have all of it. except. You know what? Honestly, I probably have all of it but the plates which is kind of crazy, but you know what? That's fine. We got to have something to do when we come back. You're right. You know what I mean? Like I would hate for us to, to play the entire game through in two episodes. Like that's would be craziness. <laughs> All right. So logistics mark two and upgrade. All right. 
that should be able to deal with all of the screws we should be getting tons of screws now like i said eventually what's going to happen is this machine i think one or two of these is actually going to be hooking up with this machine here to be making the reinforced plates but for now since we don't have that um going then we're just gonna leave it alone and that's it awesome uh let me go check on the uh, solid storage or the the solid fuel real quick because i want to like i said i want to leave this run i want to let it do its thing for a while but i want to make sure that we are good on fuel okay that one looks pretty good this is wood so the wood usually drains out pretty quick okay cool so yeah way good on fuel um awesome we're looking good but that's gonna end it thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed look at this uh, look at our factory it's actually becoming a thing now uh, it's actually looking fact factory like uh, like I said next episode the plan is to hopefully have a bunch of resources and a bunch of materials ready to go so that way we can rebuild redo everything um, I want a bunch of concrete and a bunch of plates so we can get a whole bunch of foundations down maybe we can actually get some building looking building things going on get some walls in here you know get some get some th nice clean things looking here uh, that's gonna be the plan but thanks again for coming out have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day and I will see you in the next one bye everybody